So in this box right here is the um, the touchpad GPS uh, car stereo, but it is too big, as confirmed by the guy who was selling it after I asked and sent a picture of my of the dashboard of my van. So I'm gonna be sending it back, and I'm there's a um, there is a sound concept from like uh, down the road from me that has all the custom audio solutions uh, automotive, marine, satellite, security and video remote starters, accessories, home theater design, installation service you know it had like they did say like they'll have like um they have like yeah so like since they have like automotive and a lot of fancy like stuff they will have like a stereo just like that but I but I am going to show you an update of the van and we're going to be getting a DVD player that I found that's like 40 bucks for the van and I'm going to be getting in a little bit but so first I'm going to show you the curtains that are installed in the van so this is part two of the makeover and um, oh first of all um and if you saw on the title you might like when I was putting the putting the tape on you would see these subtitles pop up saying as of today the part of the rim has been trimmed all right I was walking over there because I wanted to make sure if it was still there but I think it was thrown out but anyways um if you remember that here it is this is this is the part of the body right outside of the tire that had this thing that was dangling but now it's not dangling anymore so so I actually took some clippers and I put put it like inserted like into the rubber right here and then I insert them and I just pulled it right off so now it's gone so now we don't have to worry about that anymore now let's take a look alright so this is the first part okay I thought it was zoomed in alright so this is the first part of the van like that has the curtain so it might so we took so we went to Bed Bath and Beyond and we um we got some of this used curtain for only um ten bucks and we took some of the took some of the curtain took about most of the curtain and we trimmed it to make it look like a window sheet in some sorts. Normally you could just uh, pull it back but like we took like this coat hanger or this other like window window hanger and we uh my mom and I customized it so we, it would fit this uh window sill right here. It doesn't push in or out, I don't think anymore. So um like you could try to like look in there. You could try to put your camera up there or any if you would try to look in or put your camera up it's not going to be useful it's going to be dark in there so you wouldn't be able to see me so um you could so what you all you can just do you, it, like if you're going to take it off for the day you could just pull it off and you can roll this thing up and you can just insert it into this pocket right here let's put the you know, put put the curtain in there like you just insert that and you just have that and then when night comes if you're gonna go to bed uh, hold on it's not gonna be showing there we go you just insert it right back up there I only have one hand that I'm working with right now uh, you just put that back up there squeeze it in Try not to break it. And there you go. But don't so don't worry, like even though I pressed it up all the way in there, oh there. So even though I can't even though you can't really bring it up all the way, it's still it's still gonna be useful. So anyways, now back in here. Um there's nothing in this bag, I gotta take it back inside. Here it is, the main curtain itself that separates um, the driver's seat and the back. So, the thing I was worried about is uh, the windows right back there. But as long as you can take like the whole curtain and pull it, try to cover it like that, I mean, you would be fine. I think you'll still be fine. But um, I think this is mostly like 
I think, you know, it, it will still be dark inside, so you would have a hard time trying to look inside. But uh, this is mainly just to um, block from the windshield blocker, the windshield. And, you know, if you're changing inside the vent, you just have to change, you just have to cover up all the curtains. You know, you would have a, have a worry of looking in through there. But, you know, I think the windows would still have a dim to it, like it would, like, like you would have a hard, still have a hard time trying to look, look inside, or a little bit of darkness, I should say. So, um, that's what I hope doesn't happen to me. So, um, and also this. So you just pull that back. You could still um have it pulled back if you're driving to have complete privacy. Also, I found this remote for the TV. You have, yeah, you have like the picture project, eject, uh, VCR power, eject, sleep, recall, video, mute, reset, picture, menu. There's, I can't really find a button for input unless if um, pick or menu. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be for. But, you know, you're just turning on the, t you know, you, I just mainly want to use this just for turning on the TV. So, uh, let's put it. I'm going to put it back up here where I'm going to be putting the DVD player. So, um, close that back up. Yeah, like, you, I don't think you're going to be able to reach up all the way unless if you get some tape or something. But anyways, um, beside, aside from that, I think it looks really good. So tell me what you guys think. Do you think the do you think the curtains look very good? Just leave it in the comments below. So um, anyways, so I'm gonna go to Best Buy and we're gonna get a DVD player. We're gonna install it and that will be the end of part two. So there's these GoPro selfie stick like stuff that I'm planning on getting, but since they're way too much money right now, and since the DVD player is like 44 bucks, we're gonna save that for another day. It's the newest version of the PS4 I have ever seen. It's bigger. This is like the same product as the other DVD I found that was like 44 bucks, as my mom said, would fit. But this is the same thing and it seems to be different, so it's a lower price, so we're going to purchase this, bring this home, and see if it fits. If not, we're going to return it uh, probably tomorrow or, the, or another day. Alright, so I just went to Best Buy and picked up the DVD player. I also went back inside to get the tripod. All right, I'll I'll leave it open for now. All right. So here we have the DVD player, and here's the VHS player that fit in there. You can see here, it's just about almost as long as the box. Here's the width of it. It is just about as long as that too, so hopefully this uh, DVD player does um, have the same does have the ability to fit in there. I don't want to send it back just like this, so let's open it. Uh, scratch the box. Hold on. All right, had to put it on the tripod, so let's try it with hands. ruining the box but I'm just hoping that to God that this fits
so far it looks pretty good all right so the DVD has its own remote right here and it comes with its own batteries but we're gonna leave it in there for right now just to confirm the size this is the DVD player we have its plugs comes with its own manual and here's the player out of the box so let's compare it with the VHS plate okay so this is the width of the VHS player and the DVD player just about the same size so oh huge problem you need an outlet maybe I made a mistake but I think it would fit in there But I don't know if you necessarily need it as long as, um, I don't know. Let's take a look inside. And it does fit. Okay, so I had to call my parents about this. Well, my mom, uh, she doesn't know if it, well, she said, like, they're all the same, I think, with the, even with the one that has a power outlet. So we, I don't know if it is gonna work, even with the power on the van working. So uh, we're gonna plug this, we're gonna plug everything that's in here, going into the back, audio out, uh, which is where this white plug will go. Let me just, let's just double check. Yeah, it's colored, that one's white. And, oh, I almost dropped it. Okay. component video out uh, we're gonna put that one there that one's red and the video out which is yellow in the back we're gonna move the box out of the way in the remote along with the remote put that stuff in there um, okay remote batteries okay let's set it up on the tripod okay now we're gonna see if we can get this thing working Alright, we have all the plugs into this, we're just going to plug it into the TV, and I have the key, so we're going to see if it goes on. Oh, and if, if, I forgot, if some of you are asking why didn't I make a video of these curtains going up, uh, because on Monday night, when I was coming home from work, uh, my mom came up and said that she put it up all by herself, so when I came into the van on Monday night, everything was all there, so. Okay, what we're going to do first, we're going to be careful with this TV take it all out so we can put the plugs of the uh, of the DVD player inside all right we're just gonna take a look at the back real quick don't have good lighting all right so Currently, yeah, I don't know where the outlets would be plugged in. That's the problem. So, uh, ow. Alright, you could bump my head into this thing. Take that remote. We're gonna put the. I don't know if you're getting a good view of this. We're gonna put the DVD player right in here. So the plugs have to go in first. back there all right there's no red plug in this TV so yellow plug goes in here on the top and the white plug goes at the bottom so now we have to make sure the plugs don't get in the way of that strap if you put it back Around, yeah, they went right around here, so let's put it back in. Just gotta make sure yellow top, white bottom. Let me insert 
certain TV back inside. There's what there's what's left of the strap. We have to put that back in there too. I think it's a challenge to put back in there. Get the TV back in the inside. All right, I'm just gonna make go around the strap, make sure it's flat. It doesn't feel really too flat. All right, let's turn the van on. Let me. Right. I'm gonna make sure. Okay, we have the power button. That, we're gonna put those wires back in there. All right. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. We'll put zoom in on that side. All right. Focus. There we go. Okay. We're not gonna turn the van on all the way to start the engine. We're gonna turn the power on. Alright, we're gonna turn on these lights real quick. Alright, power's on. Let's turn on the TV. Okay, TV's on. Oh, it's not focusing. Alright. Yep, I think we have a little bit of a problem. Yeah, so the outlet that comes with it needs to be plugged in. So the thing is always that we might need to get like a power converter or something to put like in this um, in this cabinet right here on the left side of the TV, where the original plan is still I think is still to um, to still put to still put in here so we have internet for this TV to go because like it has TV3 but for video 1 I I but well for video 1 or video 2 is where the DVD is going to be in so for the time being this DVD is just going to sit in here and um and we're going to see what we can do to find I'm going to talk to my parents about this and then we're going to see what my dad can do for the future to see if he can get any of these stuff working from then And then um, we're gonna see what we can do from there. But right now we don't know where we're gonna get an outlet. My well, my uncle, my uncle Kyle, has like a power converter that he has in his van for that side. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see what I mean. Uh, zoom out. All right, we're gonna turn the van off. Oh, okay, turn the van. So um, what I'm talking about is that right now this cabinet right here is empty. So um, I'm going to talk to my parents and then we're going to see what we can do. My dad knows more about uh, installing um, electronics than I do and more than my mom does. Most, Well, mostly than me. I know more than mom, but my dad knows most of what to do. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the frame back up in there. And then I'm gonna to talk to my dad and see what we can do to see if we can get a power converter or a TV station in here. And then we're gonna put it in and then find out the moment of truth. And then on Friday, when I have to, or on Friday or after I get my money back, we're gonna I'm gonna to go to like the um, the the store. I forgot what it was. The power I don't know. It's not a TV station, but it's like that. Forgot what it was. We're gonna go. I'm gonna to go to the store and see if I can find a, the the 
a pop-up DVD player or a newly upgraded GPS player to put back in there inside the van and um, on the stereo and then we're gonna try and see if we can get everything finished in time before my trip to Vegas and we're also gonna get a drawer for like back there uh, like for like what we're plan what I'm planning to do oh there's a bug inside the truck all right so what I'm plan oh so what I'm like planning to do is that I want to put like a, a three top uh, a three top drawer for this side of the van and I'm gonna hopefully get some to put as pillows for that side to sleep in the van and then this project will be all done but first what we're gonna try to do and see what we can do about this TV anyways guys I hope you like this video and if you like it leave a comment leave a like and share this video and subscribe for more videos and tomorrow you should see my next cooking video and the tripod is falling off Anyway, well, it's not broken or anything. It's just loose a little bit. Anyways, guys, that's it. And stay tuned, hopefully tomorrow, for my next cooking video.